What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. Today I'm going to tell you the reason why I don't think you should learn C++ as a beginner. I don't think this language is actually a very good language and this is coming from someone who actually worked in the industry for about two months as a C++ developer and then then went to grad school but and someone who has like done the C++ a lot. I wouldn't say you should learn C++ as a beginner. Now the reason why is because C++ is very verbose, okay? I'm gonna give you a few reasons. One, it's a very verbose language. Like there's a lot of, the library STL is super big. And also it's pretty, it takes a long time to type. There's a reason why C++ has a tendency to take a long time to write is because it's just super verbose and very long. Like trying to, just trying to create like functions and classes take a long time to write compared to like other languages like Python. Like Python is super easy to write. And as a beginner, you would probably be better at Python if compared to like just learning C++. Another thing is that C++ is a, it's a super wide, super large language. Like if you go online and you look at C++, um, large language, if you just look on the, I don't know, C++ design patterns, right? If you just look on the, uh, Look out how many different design patterns there are, and there's a lot of, uh, like, the latest C++. If you look at the updates, they completely change. This C++17 completely changed a lot of things. Um, to look at this, like, GCC, namespaces, they have nested namespaces now. Holy crap, like, there's a lot of different templating. Templating has changed const express if okay that's so different inline variables now they add inline variables like they didn't have that before and there's just a lot of stuff you would need to know in c++ it takes super long to write now you have inline switches for if switch like this is crazy c++ is a huge huge language and now we have like structured binding declarations like this is this is insane okay like as a beginner, you should not try to learn C++ if you want to actually learn how to code. There's like other languages like Python that are much easier. Now, another thing why you shouldn't learn C++ is because a lot of C++ is mostly for performance is a thing, right? So like, um, like fin fintech, right? Financial technology and like finance. Performance is a thing for stocks, so they use the C++ there. Or like, um... I don't know, embedded systems like radios or like electronics and stuff like that. Those require a lot of C++ because without performance and efficiency, uh, they, they can't function, right? So like microsystems and stuff like that and games, game development is in C++ because if, if you don't have C++, your game is not going to run fast and people don't like that. So... Most of the times, if you're not into any of these like embedded development or financial technology or other stuff, then there's no reason to learn C++. Like if you're not into gaming or anything where performance is, an, is a problem, then you shouldn't learn C++ because what's the point? Like there's a lot of other technologies if you want to get into programming. You could do like web development. That's, that's pretty, it's pretty big. And uh, if you just learn like JavaScript, Learning web development is pretty easy to pick up the other libraries and the other types of things right there compared to C++, where learning C++ is not going to help you in web development. It does help you in like some legacy systems or like performance systems that require high performance. Even like in competitive programming, in competitive programming, C++ is definitely a thing because performance is a thing. Like every, you try to, you want to get your code running as fast as possible. That's why you use C++ in competitive programming. But if you're not into any of these things, I wouldn't. I would not learn C plus plus. The language is super big and super difficult to learn, and it's just like imagine dealing with like multi-threading, semaphores, stuff like that. Like uh, also like assembly, inline assembly, like all this stuff. It's pretty difficult. I would not learn. Want to do that if you're not into any of the embedded work or high performances languages or any of the 
So that's some old maintenance code you use C++. But if you're not in any of that, I would not bother in C++. So those are my re main reasons why beginners should not learn C++. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. I'm tired. Peace.